In 2009, IVRC was yet another challenging mission. The mission is to build a tunnel with a length of 8.29 kilometers from Kapurbadi to the Bhanduk complex. This tunnel is a part of the Municipal Corporation of Bruhan Mumbai's water supply project. In this water supply project, a series of tunnels and pipelines have been planned to transmit water from Modak Sagar to Gargai and Pinjal. Due to space constraints, it is not possible to lay pipelines on the ground. Therefore, a tunnel from Gundovli to the Bhandup complex has been decided. The work started with the construction of an 11.8 meter diameter, 108 meter deep inlet shaft at Kapur Baudi and an 11.8 meter diameter and 125 meter deep outlet shaft at the Bhandup complex by conventional drilling and controlled blasting method, including disposal of muck and pumping of seepage water. For this project, a main beam type tunnel boring machine of Robbins Company USA has been procured. This machine has been specifically designed for use in hard rock formations. Therefore, for the boring of a 6.25 meter diameter and 8.3 kilometer long tunnel with an upward gradient of 4.5 is to 1000 at Kapur Baudi, this TBM is armed with suitable features. Dewatering activity has a very important and major role in the construction of tunnels. There may be seepage of water, water pockets and unexpected water flows in the tunnel. For pumping out this water, five 300 horsepower motor-driven pumps have been installed with a capacity of 300 cubic meters per hour at 150 meter head. In areas where weak work strata exists, as well as in cases of jointed and permeable strata, the lining will have to take care of hydro fracture. A mild steel lining is designed to withstand maximum internal water pressure and is checked for resistance to external pressure. While working in these extreme conditions, lots of safety measures are taken care of. Methane gas is a very flammable and explosive gas. In tunnel projects, there is a possibility of the presence of this gas in the tunnel during construction. Therefore, from the point of view of safety, there are three sensing heads mounted on the TBM which provide continuous monitoring of the methane gas. In addition to the methane monitor, the TBM is provided with a carbon monoxide monitor, oxygen monitor, carbon dioxide monitor and hydrogen sulphide monitor. Apartments like electrical, mechanical and civil are playing a crucial ro uh, role uh, on the day-to-day -day basis TBM operations. A separate telephone line has been installed throughout the inside of the tunnel with telephone points at regular intervals. For keeping the required level of oxygen inside the tunnel up to 8.3 kilometers, there is a ventilation system which consists of three vein axial fans at the top. A battery operated locomotive is used for transportation of men and materials inside the tunnel. The Kapur Baudi shaft has a depth of 108 meters from the ground level. To enter this tunnel, there is a one metric ton capacity passenger hoist. The material shifting from top to tunnel and tunnel to top is done with this 32 metric ton crane. The 8.29 kilometer long tunnel from Kapur Baudi to the Bhanduk complex was completed on the 21st of January 2014. This was achieved ahead of schedule due to the relentless effort made by the team of engineers, technicians, officers and workers. It's a great achievement for the Municipal Corporation of Greater Mumbai. I once again congratulate IVRCL Joint Venture for their extreme efforts in coming over very trying conditions and with proper planning they have been able to show the way that how 
such tedious work can be executed with great ease and efficiency. Both the management has contributed to the best of the talent for this particular project. That is the result why this project has been executed in scheduled time as far as the boring is concerned. UBT and IVRC in both, they were having conventional tunneling experience lot. But by using a tunnel boring machine, uh, nobody was did that. So I am very proud of the uh, very team who has uh, done the lot of job in the tunnel. And thanks to the IVRC, all the team, entire team, including service team. The challenge taken was completed successfully.